Hello everyone, this is the Dodger Kebab, and today I'm going to be talking about two different screen recording programs for the PC. Now, as many of you know, I use Fraps to record a lot of the gaming footage that I record from the PC, but recently I've discovered a new program called Bandicam. Now the problem I've always had with Fraps is that while you're recording in 1080p, while the end recording does look good, the actual game chugs and goes really slow, the frames per PS just drop because the computer designates more of its power over to Fraps and the recording of the game rather than the display of the game. I know that sounds really strange, but it does happen. So in this video, the idea is that I show Fraps running both the end result footage and what I'm seeing, I have to use my phone to record that, and I'll do the same with Bandicam, and hopefully you'll see why I'm using Bandicam instead of Fraps now. So up first, this is the Bandicam footage, and as you'll see, it should be 60, 60 frames per second the whole way on both. Unfortunately, because this is YouTube, you're not going to see above 30. But trust me, if you do see the little number in the corner the, from the Bandicam, uh, it should say 60, so you know it is running at 60. And here we are with the fraps. Now, you can see, you should be able to see the red number again to show the frame rate that it's recording at. It really dro drops down. It's, it goes down to 22, 20 in places. And like I say, it doesn't affect the end result footage so much, but you, it really messes you up while you're trying to play the game. <laughs> Anyway, that's it. I hope this video has uh, helped out anyone that is trying to decide between the two programs. That's all for now. Bye-bye.